And I can't wait to show you this chart because things are about to get exciting. So the vertical yellow lines your sell now, the vertical blue lines your buy now. Now we're looking at it all the way to 2011 to now. You can see the vertical blue line came in at the bottom in 2011. And then it said sell the dollar in 2015, right at the top. Then it said buy in 2018, the bottom, and then buy again in 2021 at the bottom. And now look at the signal that's flashing. Compared to 2022, we see the trend line coming up, and then we see in the void lines, red to orange, sell now signal, and sell. We could be on the verge of a crypto explosion right now, and I'm gonna tell you why. And it's not because of Bitcoin, it's not because of anything else besides what's happening in the dollar chart right now. So this is the chart of the dollar. So the dollar's been going up. We've been finding support on the EMA ribbon right here. And now we're right at it. We're right at the EMA ribbon for support. And if we break down from here, then it's gonna come down to here first stop, here second stop. That's a huge move in the dollar and it's gonna send crypto skyrocketing. You can see from this bottom to this top, that's the Fibonacci retracement we need to take out, 786, and we're below it right now. So let's see at the end of the day what happened. This indicator has called the dollar bottoms and tops since 2008. And what it's flashing right now may surprise you. We can see 2008, we had a buy, a sell in 2009, a buy again back in 2010, a sell again back in 2010, a buy again back in 2011, and then we have a sell back in 2015, a sell back in 2017, a buy in uh, the beginning of 2018, and what we have now is some prepare to sell soon signals. For the sell now to flash, we need two things to happen. This to be crossed down, check one, and then this to be crossed down. Four days. These next four days are going to be huge, and let me show you why. So since October 25th, we've been telling you, we've been showing you the charts for the dollar saying it's on the verge of cratering. And that's because the Stargate signals have been flashing some huge signs. So on October 25th, the dollar was around 113 and everybody thought it was gonna explode higher. We said, no, go back to the TikTok, watch that video. Cause it literally the Stargate signals have called every macro bottom and top for the past 13 years on the dollar. So what does this all mean? In four days, that candle is gonna close, that two week candle. And if we're at these levels where we're at now, maybe a little bit higher, it doesn't matter. We have broken down from our upwards trend in the dollar and we're gonna see the confirmation of the sell now signal on the two week chart for the dollar. And let me show you the past times it has called this signal. Since 2011, bottom, top, 2015, bottom, 2018, bottom, 2021, and now it's looking like a top again in 2022, and it's eerily similar to 2015, I'll show you. 2015, trend line up, vertical yellow line, sell now, and then bam, broke the trend line, and then that was our top of the dollar. Now fast forward 2022, trend line up, sell now signal, broke trend line, and it's looking like in four days, we're gonna have an official top of the dollar. We got some drama in the crypto space against Binance and FTX. I'm watching this closely. This could have some signs of a potential black swan warning. So I'm watching how this may roll out because either one of these companies getting an SC lawsuit on them or being insolvent would not be good for the space. So I am watching this drama. We fast forward to this. We made a follow-up video to that. So when was this? This was November 9th, 2022, right? So November 9th, ready? Maybe Binance isn't gonna pull through on the, the deal. And maybe that's what causes the market to turn back down again. And then one of these traditional institutions come in and they, they, they secure the deal with FTX. Could be a possibility. So right there, that's exactly what happened. Binance didn't pull through on the deal. The market crashed. And now we just got the news today that Goldman Sachs to spend tens of millions on discounted crypto investments after FTX implosion. The investment bank sees a bigger need for trustworthy and established players in the crypto market. We called it, guys. We called it.